What's up guys, Andrew here, part of the Zydax sales team, and today we are talking about the new RTX 4070 from NVIDIA. This is the most new card on the market and is the one that hits a bunch of different markers for both price to performance. So today I'm gonna to take you through some benchmarks so you guys can see what to expect if you pick up this GPU for yourself. We also have these available in our brand new ready to rolls on the website and you can actually check us out online, talk with a sales agent like me if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. So to make sure that we really show off what this card is capable of, I did test a few games at different settings so that you guys can get a general idea of this. Also wanted to show you guys what you're capable of with things like DLSS and FSR because this is definitely one of those GPUs where that's gonna come in handy. So inside our computer today, we have the i5-13600K. This is one of the best gaming CPUs on the market. That is paired with 32 gigabytes of 6,000 megahertz DDR5 RAM along with the brand new RTX 4070. So the first game I wanted to test was Apex Legends. At 1080p at ultra settings, we were getting as much as 190 FPS average. I did all the testing this way, making sure every game was tested at ultra. Ray chasing was not on in any of these tests, but from the benchmarks you're watching right now, you can see that it's highly performance and that is absolutely what we wanna look for if we're buying a gaming GPU. The next popular shooter I decided to test was Fortnite. This is a game that's gone through a lot of updates recently and is actually shockingly hard to run. With everything set to ultra, I was getting over 100 frames, around 110 at 1080p. Again, this is with no upscaling turned on. So this is a worst case scenario. You're obviously gonna be able to optimize this to get even better frames per second if you're doing this at home. But I wanna show what this card is capable of if you just wanna set everything to ultra and let it rip. So Resident Evil 4 was the first game I decided to test at 1440p. From the benchmarks, you can see that we were getting close to 100 FPS at ultra settings with no type of upscaling. So this is still a very well-optimized game and one that even at 1440p, the 4070 is more than capable of taking on. However, once you go above 1080p, upscaling is something you're definitely gonna wanna turn on in most cases. When I turned on FSR 2.0, set it to performance, I was getting an additional 30 to 40 frames depending on what was going on in the scene. This again is what this specific technology is designed for. And one nice thing about the 4070 is it can use both DLSS, which is NVIDIA's version of upscaling, and FSR, which is AMD's. And of course, the number one game I get asked to benchmark is still Call of Duty. At 1440p, which is actually something that a lot of people are now moving into, I was getting around 93, uh, 93 frames a second at ultra settings. Now with shooters, you're obviously gonna do better optimization than I did, but this is just a worst case scenario to show you what this GPU is capable of. What was nice is that turning on DLSS to performance, I was actually getting as much as 135 to 140 FPS. So at 1440p, it's, the trend seems to be that you can increase your FPS by about 30 to 40 frames depending on the game by just turning on upscaling, which is something I absolutely suggest you do. Now, I really, really wanted to push the 4070, and so I decided to test literally two of the hardest uh, games to run, at least currently, in 4K. The first one being Cyberpunk 2077. In the benchmark, we saw about 30 to 32 frames per second at 4K Ultra. Ray tracing was not turned on, but again, this is one of the hardest possible games that you can run on the market right now. The fact that the 4070 is actually getting this many frames really isn't that bad. What's nice is that when you do turn on upscaling with FSR, you're gonna see more than double those frames, giving you a playable 60 FPS at 4K Ultra. So if you're wanting to crank everything and have that 60, F, uh, 60 FPS kind of bare minimum experience, you can absolutely do it with this card. And the last title in our testing suite is Hogwarts Legacy. This is a game that's not only been very badly optimized and it also requires a ton of hardware just to punch through and make the game run well. At 4K Ultra everything, again, ray tracing turned off, I was getting around 42 frames when I was running through Hogsmeade. You can see also that there were some things like texture popping and uh, other things going on graphically. That's pretty normal for this game. I actually don't blame the GPU at all. I was still able to get what I'd call a playable experience. But turning on DLSS upscaling and setting it again to performance, it changes the game entirely. Running through the exact same scene, I'm now getting anywhere from 81 to as much as 100 FPS, depending on what's going on in the background. This means at 4K Ultra, you are able to experience a very smooth, very, very high quality experience in one of the most demanding titles on the market right now. And that is really one of the biggest strengths of this card is that because it is the new generation of NVIDIA, you get access to frame generation, which is DLSS 3.0, allowing you to take advantage of much higher frames than otherwise you would get. When turning on these settings, just uh, make sure that you understand that you can increase the amount of latency. So if you're doing a shooter, set it to performance, and that way you're gonna reduce the amount of latency that you're gonna get when enabling these settings. 
So there you have it guys, the RTX 4070 is a fantastic gaming card. It is honestly one of the best price to performance and access to technology that you can get if you want to get into gaming right now. Once again, we have all of these available in ready to rolls if you want to just snag one of those off the website. But if you've got a custom configuration in mind, you can also talk to one of the sales agents to talk about exclusive promotions going on and get something configured specifically to your budget or whatever you're looking for and we'd be happy to help you out. Make sure to follow us on all of our socials, those will be linked down in the description below. We enjoyed hanging out with you guys today and we'll see every single one of you next time.